important that you that you look at the course as 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 a whole. Uh, you you analyze the whole course when you're walking the course because the jumps are they they are all connected. Even if they are not in a line, uh, they are setting you up for for a different question in another ring. So that's one tip that you really need to analyze the not jump by jump, but try to combine them and see what kind of questions we are we are asking. I think it's it's very important is to analyze the, 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 the grading of, of the, the, the arena. If the arena has any kind of slope, if you're going a little uphill or a little downhill, that's gonna, definitely gonna, gonna change the balance and, uh, and the way your horse's uh, uh, strides are gonna, are, gonna, are gonna feel. So you have to, to really take, take uh, uh, note of that. When we build a jump, a competition, we have the, the heights, we have the dimensions of the jumps, and then we play a little bit also to try to make a jump easier or more difficult. So if you have a very, a very light jump with only three poles, your horse is going to react in, in one way. If you have a solid wall or, a, or an oxer very, with a very strong, like with a, with a hurdle and many poles, your horse is going to act different. So uh, take that into consideration also when you're when you're walking your course and not only counting the, 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 the number of steps, uh, strides that you have to do in between the jumps.